Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Matt Keen. Welcome to Creating a Future We Want. The uh, Our Learning Series. I'm, um, that's not true. This is the, this is the Art of Digging Series. I'm confused because you're up in a peach tree and wasn't expecting that. Um, I was digging this hole here and I was thinking, Gosh, this this whole deal with uh, with gravity is kind of a bummer at the moment. With uh, like there being this force between me and Earth, and because Earth just happens to be a lot bigger than me, um, basically I'm the one lifting up Earth and it's heavy, especially after a rain. <clears throat> but I also think that um, this hole, it's a little bit of a different style hole, but I think it's gonna be a good hole. It's for a beam, I'm setting a terrace in here, and it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be well done for its particular use. Um, and um, if it were round, I think pretty much everyone would agree that the round space in the earth with no soil in it, we'd call a hole. But here, because this one's kind of wacky, with it being like eight feet long by seven inches wide by four inches deep, you know, maybe folks wouldn't call this a hole. Um, maybe a trench, but I'm not even sure that's completely apparent. So I'm kind of, kind of here chatting with myself, the peach tree and whoever is watching here. Um, because these are four truths that are a way of framing our thinking when things get a little bit wicked, a little bit sticky. And as they do with so many of the things that we are trying to figure out these days, that first truth about the force of gravity, something we're kind of stuck with in the universe as far as we know, um, being an objective truth, um, pretty much measurable, apparent, present, that sort of thing. Uh, my opinion that this is a good whole um, is would be a subjective truth. It's what I believe. It's based on sort of my principles or values related to the art of digging, of course. Where am I? Can I even see my Are you up there? Hi. And uh, and then oh, this is very fun. Um, the then there's a normative truth that that round thing would be called. Yeah, there you go that round thing would be called a hole. Pretty much everyone in English speaking countries has, you know, we agree, we'll call that sort of thing a hole. Um, you know, there isn't as much agreement as what I'm doing here would be called a hole and not everybody would call it that. There's this fourth truth that I find uh, valuable to think about as well, the complex truth. And that's the notion of, um, that all of those other three truths, objective, normative, subjective, they may be in part or equally uh, simultaneously true. Like, all true at the same time. That's pretty crazy thought, but that's why it's called a complex truth. I like wicked truth as another way to talk about that. I've recently been hearing a bit about people talking about pragmatic truths. I'll talk about that in another video with the, the old shovel here. Um, you know, this way of talking about truth I find to be useful when talking about particularly uh, wicked challenges, when I'm talking about climate change or, you know, uh, a couple uh, trying to figure out what the correct temperature is in the bedroom. It may say it's 70, one thinks it's hot, one thinks it's cold. You know, you got to parse these things out or it just gets, gets too tough to deal with. So uh, bringing in four truths is, is one of the things we've been talking about in our family and it's one of the things I think about while I'm digging a hole to assess uh, the quality or significance or value of, of the hole I'm digging. I'm Matt Keen. thanks for visiting Creating a Future. We want the Art of Digging series. Uh, what's your vision 
for a future of truth and our understanding of it.